Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, quick fun video for you guys today. They're always quick fun videos, you know what I'm saying? Look at what we got here. We got the whole crew. What's we got up? Connor, Rob, we're hanging out. So your last video we did, that daily vlog last week, yes. uh, if you, I don't know if you guys saw that video, but Connor was edging with the trimmer. Yeah. And a lot of you guys were like, dude, Man. Put, put the little goat back on the on the trimmer. We want to see another uh, video of that. Yeah. So if any of you guys ever want to see like how to edge a sidewalk or how to edge a driveway with a string trimmer, well, here's your man for it. So what do you call that technique? Uh, I call it flip edging. You'll see people call it a bunch of different stuff, just like people will call, you know, a string trimmer, a weed whacker. Weed, weed eater. Weed, they call it a uh, whipper snipper and like, yeah. overseas. So uh, essentially, I don't really care what you call it, um, but the main thing is that you kind of want to get the technique down. So there really are a lot of uh, different ways of doing it. You'll see guys guys hold it like this. Uh, yep. I think that's pretty cool. You'll see guys hold it like this. You'll see guys do it from in the grass. See, I do it from like the inside it. the grass there. Yeah, I find that uh, if this is what you're going to be doing and you don't have an edger, then you're need to, you're going to need to know how to do it both ways. Yep. Because um, one of the first things you really want to learn is which way the head is spinning. So if there's like a window or whatever, and you know you're gonna hit it, then you flip and you stand on the grass or whatever. The other and way. It shoots the other way, yeah. Gotcha. So, uh, but well, this right here, uh, so flip edge, we're gonna do some quick demos on one of the customer's lawns here. Uh, I'd love to hear in the comments, do you guys use an edger or do you guys use a trimmer? And if you use a trimmer, what's your way or technique? Try to describe it with a couple sentences in the description. And if you guys wanna smash the thumbs up, help the algorithm, we always appreciate that yeah, fun something, stuff. Yeah, uh, something that I like about uh, flip edging, which kind of saves you a little bit of time, is obviously when you get an edger you're going to get a more consistent result and it's going to be deeper in there yep. but what happens is all this dirt i mean i'm sure it kind of depends on the area some people have some different soils so it might be different but at least for us uh, up here in michigan a bunch of dirt gets thrown out and the only way to blow that off is to really take your blower right up to it yep. and blow it right into that edge. And what happens is because there's a lot of rocks and stuff along this boulevard, you're blowing that up into the grass too. And then you can hit it with a mower, you can hit it with a trimmer, a bunch of different things. So, right. uh, well, here, let's edge. Yeah. Let's trim. Yeah, let's so do it. Show us a little 10 feet strip here, if you don't mind. And yeah. then we'll go hit up the customer. That way we can get a couple of different vantage points. Yep. <laughs> One of the things that um, I prefer to do when I'm edging is, I know it doesn't make as clean of a line, but guys, you really don't want to be ripping your trimmer full throttle if you don't have a guard on it. Right. I mean, you can easily take your eye out, easily hurt someone else. So my thing uh, with taking the guard off a trimmer is in general, uh, you usually don't need as much throttle as you think. Yep. Um, Especially when you got a heavier duty unit. This is a 111R. Exactly, yeah. This thing you could half throttle. The 94, the 2620, a little bit heavier throttle, but yeah. you don't want to be whipping rocks 20, 30 feet. Exactly, exactly. Pretty nice line here though, man. I'll tell you what, this yeah, is uh, and, and what's nice about it is it's quick. You can do it with the trimmer. Uh, obviously, if you have, you know, 50 condos to do, you're not going to be on an edge with a string trimmer. You just can't keep the result. I mean, I'm sure someone can, but it's hard to you know, yeah. do that, obviously. So. Well, one thing I'll say too is that the the edger is another four hundred dollars, right? Yeah. So exactly. that maybe you only have enough money for a trimmer starting out. Yeah. This is a good, or you're a homeowner, you don't want to have a four hundred dollar dedicated edger. Trimmer is a good way to do it. Yeah. Uh, for me, I do what you're talking about. I turn it sideways. I walk in the grass and I walk backwards, actually. Yeah. But it's all the same. Let's uh, go tag up the sidewalk. Yeah. Don't want to hit that. No rocks, no rocks. Well, here, while we're at it, if you guys want a speed feed head, this is a speed feed 400. Line up the arrows with the eyelet. You'll see a little light come through. There it is. This one's kind of a you can do it. Interesting one to do. Let's see. Which replacement heads do you have on your uh, 
Uh, I, I usually ran the speed feeds. Uh, I just got a Red Max 260 TS or whatever it is. Yep. Um, Good trimmer. I actually think the, the stock Red Max heads are easier to uh, re-spool than the steel. Okay. I forgot what the guy's name was, but this dude had a funny video on it. He was one of you guys from down south, but um, he had a good video on how to just wrap up the Red Max one, and it's pretty easy, but obviously this is, I'd say this is so the quick way technique. to go. Hold the cap, and then yeah. just, just, just turn this, this half plate. Yeah. That way you don't have to get the string all messed up. Yeah, I used to do the opposite. I'd spin it the other way and then get it all twisted up. So. All right, well, if you guys are enjoying the video, big thumbs up. We really appreciate the support. Give this guy some encouragement. He's By doing a great way, job. Uh, but to, to the one of you that uh, said I need a haircut, um, I totally agree. My parents, they they agree with you. And <laughs> I need to get a haircut. 16 year old so. grown boy. It's obviously. just I can't afford it, so. You know, for, for a teenager, you're not half bad, you know? We'll yeah. take it, we'll take it. Brian's way of doing it. In the grass. Let's see. Yeah, his way is a little bit more clean. As you can see, that's a little harder for me. Yeah. But obviously, if there's a window or whatever right here, you gotta flip it the other way. Right. Finish that up, and then I'm gonna show him my way on this side. There you go, that's a lot cleaner. Yeah. It just depends which way the head spins. Exactly, and, it, and it's what you practice. So. This guy's got a lot of practice. Looking good, great job. Uh, I'd say like, if you were gonna do this, walking forward with it, you're fighting the string. So it's actually a lot easier if you would start over there and just walk backwards. So it kind of pulls first, forward. When you're first uh, starting, I recommend walking backwards and standing in the sidewalk, but you can do whatever you want, just don't hurt yourself. I like it. I'm Ross to have it trimmed in like two weeks. <laughs> there goes all the excuses, right? And then number two, I don't use the seal, I use my Echo, but. For me personally, I walk backwards in the grass. So I walk backwards this way. It wouldn't be as wavy if I use the other trimmer, but that's my technique. I walk backwards in the grass. You walk, how do you hold the trimmer again? For me, I basically set my arm right here. Now, yep. This gets kind of hot on this. So yeah, so you more or less have it flipped completely yeah, upside down. Essentially, I'll hold it like that. And then you're walking forward? Yeah, I mean, guys, it's really what, what's it, whatever's comfortable, I mean, you know. There's a million different ways to do it. Um, yeah. And just do whatever works for you. And remember, it takes time to get it down, especially if you're a homeowner. Like, you know, just doing your own lawn, it takes a lot of times hitting that lawn to really get it down. So if your edge is really wide, 
Don't worry about it. Just keep practicing. There so. you go. All right, guys, we'll butt it up right here. Connor, great job, bud. Seriously, Thank you. Thank you're tearing it up. You got a great skill set there. Yeah. You'll uh, be irreplaceable on this crew and then any crew in the future. But you have your own business too, which yeah, is awesome. We'll so we'll see what happens with that in the future. So. There you go. Hey, maybe you can come back and work for us full time, right? Um, that's just our techniques for a trimming. That's how, how we edge a sidewalk, how we edge a driveway uh, with a trimmer. Love to hear what you guys do, what's your technique. Uh, we're just taking a couple quick minutes here on a Wednesday afternoon. It's Literally 90 degrees out, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing filming today. Of course, we always decide to film on the hottest days of the year, but hope you guys enjoyed this quick, fun vlog, something different today, and if you guys do, big thumbs up. We super appreciate that. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you guys are new here, our channel's all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscape business, and we do a lot of product reviews, how-tos, and so much more. So if you guys are new, maybe hit, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. Love to have you part of the team. All right, guys, we'll catch up with you here on the next one. Over and out, peace.